Hi, this is Andrian. In this video, you will practice to answer the TOEFL structure questions. The PDF file of these questions can be downloaded in the description and pinned comment of this video. You can also practice on how to answer the TOEFL written expression question by clicking the end screen of this video. Let's start. Let's start with number one. To answer the sentence completion section, what we need to do first is to identify subjects and verbs of the sentence. In this sentence, the human brain is a noun that function as the subject. Now let's try to find where is the verb for this subject. We will able to see that only is an adverb, 2% is a noun, of is a preposition, and an adult's body weight is a noun or noun phrase that function as the object of preposition. It can be concluded that this sentence needs a verb. Now let's try to find on the following choices, the first word that function as a verb, which is a connector or conjunction. So we can eliminate A. It is a pronoun, we can eliminate B. Makes is a verb and D makes is a verb as well. Now the answer for this question is D because C has the pronoun it. And in this sentence, we don't need the pronoun it as the object of the sentence. That's why the answer is D for number one. Let's go to number two. The foreign policies is the subject. Now, if we are able to see the blank space here, we are able to see the word, the Hoover administration, uh, which is a noun phrase that function as a subject. We will also find undertook that function as a verb. And we also can find word mark that function as a verb as well. In this sentence, we are able to see and find more than one subject and more than one verb. Now, if we have found more than one subject or one verb, then we will need to have a connector or a conjunction. These are the basic pattern for multiple clauses where a connector will connect uh, two sentences one is an independent clause and the second is an independent clause. Now, if we see the blank space, it is close to the word policies. Policies is considered to be noun. Uh, a clause that function to explain a noun is called the adjective clause. And one of the connector is at. Let's proceed to number three. In number three, we are able to see that the blank space is near the preposition for, and it is near then that shows comparison. Now, if we see that a sentence is signal with the word then, it can be concluded that words, phrases, or sentences prior to the word then and after the word then need to be in the same structure. We are able to see that before the word then we're able to locate a phrase to their parents, or it is called to prepositional phrase. In conclusion, the structure after the word then will need to be in the same form, a to prepositional phrase. We can conclude that the answer C is the correct answer as it has the same structure as to their parents. Two other figures of authority is two plus phrase. Let's go to number four. Near the blank space, we are able to see the word cause. Cause is a verb. Now let's try to identify whether this sentence has another subject or verb. Extensive damage is a noun that function as an object from this sentence. Two is a preposition. Pacific Island nations is a noun phrase that function as the object of preposition of two and each year. We are able to conclude that this sentence will need to have a subject. Now let's try to find a subject in the form of noun or noun phrase. Therefore, what we need to do is to choose a noun or noun phrase on the following choices. Therefore, we can eliminate 
those answers that have connectors or conjunctions, such as A, because it has because, and D, because it has the connector that, and also C, because it has which. Therefore, the answer is B. Let's go to number five. In the blank space, we are able to see that the word near this space is anthropologist. That is noun that function as subject of the sentence. Within is a preposition. Their environments are the noun that becomes the object of preposition. Evaluate is the verb. The adaptation is a noun that function as the object. They have made is an independent clause, which originally in the form of that they have made, connector, subject, and verb. Therefore, for number five, we will need to find the verb in the following choices. Now let's try to find the verb in the following choices. Now Societies is a noun, study is verb, who is connector, and their societies are pronoun. Therefore, the answer is B, because study is a verb. Let's go to number six. For number six, the blank space is near to two contrasting words, which are the female and the male. This is one of the clue that the sentence need negation of an existing prepositional phrase. Therefore, the answer is A, not. Let's go to number seven. For number seven, we can see that the blank space is near Henry David Thoreau, which is considered to be the subject of the sentence and is known is the verb of this sentence. Therefore, if there is a blank space prior to the subject of the independent clause, therefore, the answer would be an introductory prepositional phrase. Now let's try to find a preposition that form a phrase in this sentence. From the following answers, we are able to see that it is only like that function as a preposition. Like his predecessor, Ralph Waldo Emerson is considered or function as an oppositive that explain the word predecessor. And then continue after comma, we will have the main clause or the independent clause, which consists of subject and verb. Therefore, the answer is C. Let's go to number eight. The tallest bird is considered to be the subject of the sentence. Let's try to find the verb. On is a preposition. The North American continent is a noun phrase that function as the object of the preposition. Then we will have comma, the white whooping cane, is an appositive that explain the noun bird four and a half feet tall. Therefore, this sentence only has a subject. In conclusion, we need to find the verb for this subject. Stands is a verb, which stands is a connector that function as a subject. Stands is verb. It is a pronoun that function as a subject. Stands is a verb. Standing is an adjective or it can be a gerund. Therefore, the answer is A because this sentence only needs a verb. Let's go to number nine. For number nine, we are able to see that the blank space is near a noun, their homes. And we are able to see that it is also near a coordinate connector, which is N. If we find coordinate connectors such as N or and many others, then the structure of words, phrases, sentences before and after should be the same. In this case, we are able to see that there is the word building. 
Hence, the word after n should be in the same form, which is an ing. Therefore, if we are able to see the following choices, the answer is C, heating, as heating has the same structure as building. In number 10, we are able to see that past experience is a noun that function as a subject, has shown at the verb, that is a connector, and well-trained is an adjective, overwhelming success is a noun. Now, the blank space is near an adjective well-trained. Therefore, it can be concluded that after the word well-trained, there will be a noun. And noun, in this case, because we already found the connector, hence we will need to find the subject and the verb. Now for this following answers, for A, experts is a subject, do not always have our verbs, do not always have in B, our verbs and experts is a noun that function as the subject. There are experts, R is verb, experts, subject, who is conjunction and subject, do not always have our verbs, always do not have experts, our verbs and experts are noun that function as an object. Therefore, because we need to find a subject after the adjectives, it can be concluded that the answer is A. In this sentence, we are able to see that the blank space is near the word gene. Gene is a noun. Now, a noun can function both as a subject or an object. Because the word gene is in the beginning of the sentence, it can be determined that it function as the subject of the sentence. Now let's try to find the verb. The verb is were. And understood. These are verb phrases were more completely understood. Now, if a sentence is signaled by the B were, there is a tendency or there is possibility that the clause or the sentence is in if clauses. The if clause, the second type of if clause, where the past simple verb is used. In this case, the answer is C. If function as the connector or conjunction, each gene is the subject. And for if conditional, although gene is a singular noun, the B uh, will always be where for the second type conditional sentence. Yeah. Hence, the answer is C. Let's go to number 12. Now for number 12, we can see that there are interesting choices of answers where we can see negative expressions such as rarely are being offered in the choices. Now, if we have found negative expressions such as rarely or barely or not, no, and many others, then the structure of the sentence is considered to be inverted structure, where the pattern of negative expressions will come verb, and afterward we will have the subject. This is called the inverted structure. Now let's see if this sentence is in the inverted structure. So the answer for this question is B, because rarely is the negative expression, and afterward, we will have the verb has and the subject, the federal government. Now, has actually is in the form of verb phrase. That's why we will have grown here. It is actually a part of the verb phrase has grown. The original structure is in this form. The federal government of the United States has rarely grown 
during a Republican administration. That is the original sentence. Now in the TOEFL structure test, that particular sentence can be inverted. As long as we have negative expressions such as rally in the beginning of the sentence. Now inverted structure is not only signaled by negative expressions. There are also other markers or other signals that we need to know. For this question, we're able to see that we have two commas near the blank space. Now there are two possibilities if we find two commas. The first possibility is that we will have an adjective pass or we will have an appositive. If it is an adjective class, then we will need to follow the pattern of connector, subject, and verb. If it is an appositive, then we will need to only choose an answer that consists of several words with several prepositions. There will be no verb in the appositive form. Now, if we see the following choices, there are no answers or choices in the form of connector, subject, and verb. Nonetheless, what we can see is that there is a form in the appositive form. And this one is in the answer B. As one of the most critical elements for human survival does not contain any verb, this only contains several words and preposition. Mostly the words are in noun or noun phrase. While the other choices, we will able to see that there is a verb such as B, such as is, as a B, or which as connector, and also which as connector. But those three following answers do not form the dependent clause structure, which is connector subject verb. Therefore, for number 13, the answer is an appositive or B. For number 14, we can see that the blank space is positioned before a comma. There are several possibilities. If we have a comma, position in this way. The first possibility is that it is in the form of an appositive, where there are only several words or preposition without any verbs. The second possibility is that it is an adjective plus. where we are able to see a connector, subject, and verb pattern or form. Now let's see. Before the comma, we will have some words. And after the comma, we will have the independent clause. American Sign Language is the subject. Ranks is the verb. And if we take a look at the following choices, we have several verbs and several subjects. Right. Therefore, it is a sign that this question asks about an adjective clause. So we need to find the pattern of conjunction subject verb. But we are not able to find the pattern here. The next possibility is that this clause could be reduced or it is called reduce adjective clause. The reduce adjective clause pattern is in this way. The connector that function as the subject with the B, it can be is, am, are, so on and so forth. And the past participle or the third form verbs. The reduced adjective clause formula is where the connector and subject is omitted with the B. Hence, we will left with the past participle 
or the third form of verbs. Now, if we see at the following choices, past participle is only located in A. Therefore, the answer is A. In number 15, we can see that efforts is the subject. Therefore, let's try to find the verb. Provide equal opportunity here becomes the object of the preposition. Minorities, noun, it is also the object of for as the preposition. In the United States, also is an object of in. From the Civil Rights Act, these are also object of from 1964. Therefore, we need to find a verb for the subject efforts. There are several verbs here. Uh, let's try to omit dating as dating is not a verb. And to date may be said, to date is not a verb, an infinitive verb. It is not in that form. So we are left with two choices, A and C. Now, in a TOEFL test, there is a tendency that if the subject is a non-person subject, such as efforts, most of the time, the structure of the sentence would be in the passive form. And the passive form formula is where we locate B plus past participle or the third form of verbs. Now, B and past participle can only be seen in A. Therefore, the answer is A. You can continue practicing to answer number 16 to 240 or the TOEFL written expression questions by clicking this video. My name is Andrian and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.